Hello and welcome to a quick video from RC Empire from our 1988 Kyosho RS200 series. In the last video you may remember we mentioned that the throttle linkage had finally broken after 30 years. More than likely this occurred through fatigue as it also acted as a kind of springed linkage with some flex in it. Now in this video we will be walking through the last few steps of making a new DIY throttle linkage because they are almost impossible to find now. So the first thing we did was to find the correct material to make the part out of and for this I needed some springy steel. If we simply used mild steel it would permanently deform every time it bent and wouldn't keep its shape. So what we did was found an old spring we had lying around with the same diameter steel as the original throttle cable and unwound it with a pair of pliers until it was nice and straight. From there we had the perfect material to start reforming and shaping. Now to begin forming the part we measured the original linkage and marked out on the new wire with a sharpie pen where the bends will be and then simply bent it into shape with a pair of needle nose pliers. So if we take a look at this section, we've measured the original part starting from one end and working down the length of the wire. And once we get to the end, we can cut off any excess. Make sure you copy every kink and bend of the original part and double check everything before you make the final bend. Now when bending the metal with the pliers, you want to put the mark you made right on the edge of the plier nose and make sure that you push the wire from as close to the plier metal as possible. This will ensure the bend follows the nice sharp edge of the plier nose and you get a nice 60 degree bend. If you push the wire from right at the end, it will probably just curve round randomly and not at the point you want it. What you can also do is use a second pair of pliers to form all the little kinks in the wire that will stop the throttle cable falling out. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, we have a nearly perfect copy of the original part. Now the ultimate test is will it fit. So just pop it into the servo horn holes. Stick a little clamp on and that's it. It seems to be solid, we've got a nice amount of spring in the linkage too which is perfect and as you can see it bounces back into position. And we are all ready to go for another run. So that's it for this quick little video. I hope you've seen just how easy it is to make parts like this yourselves and this should last many many years. So please don't forget to subscribe, rate and drop us a comment down below if you would like to see anything else. Thank you for watching and see you soon.